hey there loves welcome and welcome back to my channel i hope you guys enjoyed the b-roll of me grocery shopping it's the next day and i had to add just a little bit of laundry motivation to today's video i have a load of towels that i need to get washed so we're going to be doing that together today if you guys are new here I always add my scent beads to my machine as well as a few drops of my tea tree oil to the container that I add my wash liquid with or my detergent with and I just add that to the machine and then to make it you know fresher and softer I like to go in with some vinegar I know this is not everybody's cup of tea but vinegar actually softens as well as deodorizes your clothes so if you've never tried it before definitely consider trying it and then I go ahead and add in my colgone to clean my machine and keep it in good condition now that I've gotten the laundry started we're going to work in the living room I need to freshen up the space also I need to put away all the things that I used for my brunch today y'all brunch was amazing the decor I actually love it. It was my favorite, favorite decor that I've ever done. I think I outdid myself. I'm just saying I'm not tooting my own horn. Oh, yes, I am. Toot, toot. <laughs> but it was my favorite of all that I've ever done. So that video should be up before this one. You guys should head over and check it out. If not, it should be up after this one. But I think I'm going to add that one um, first and then this one after. But it was an amazing morning. So I'm going to just put everything away that I use. Then we're going to work on cleaning the living room space. I need to give my buffet or credenza a really good dust down because y'all know just about everything in my home is black <laughs> minus the wood accents and some white but everything in my home is basically black so it holds dust a lot so I need to take everything off of this countertop just to clean it off and freshen it up and I also need to go in and shine my mirrors and y'all know I always preach it to shine my mirrors. What am I going to use? Yes, my handy dandy newspaper and some glass cleaner, but my handy dandy newspaper. <laughs> it always shines. It never disappoints. Okay, so if you've never tried it before, definitely consider trying it. It's old school. My mama used to do it. That's where I learned it from and it still works. So if you've never done it before, give it a try.
to remove most of the dust I'm going in with my duster and then afterwards I'm just going to spray the table down with my glass cleaner I use this for my tabletops because it gives it a nice shine and it doesn't dry it out too much so I like to use my glass cleaner for my tabletops but of course you guys use what you like to use <laughs> but that's what I'm using just to you know shine it up and give it an extra wipe down Moving right along, I'm going to be doing the same thing. I'm dusting everything down first and then I'm going in with my glass cleaner and I'm going to wipe down the TV stand as well as the television and that tall like shelf stand closet. Yeah, closet. <laughs> Next, I'm going to be working on the coffee table. I'm going to remove everything once again, dust it down, and then give it a nice shine with a napkin and my glass cleaner. I was thinking about trying the Pink Stuff glass cleaner because I did see it in the store. I do use the Pink Stuff um you know that hard mix in the container i use that for when we're cleaning my grill as well as the kitchen sink but i've never tried the glass cleaner you guys if you've tried it before let me know is it good should i try it or don't waste my money
once again I'm changing up my coffee table decor y'all I don't know I just I'm always changing my decor it's just something I can't help but doing so we're changing it again as as always <laughs> y'all purchasing our now couch was the best decision that we could have made this couch is so much more comfortable it is huge okay it is huge but it is so much more comfortable and i don't have that issue with seeing dust on it all the time like i did with the black sofa or the black couch that used to get on my nerves i do maintain it the same way i did the black one but not seeing that dust on it frequently is such an ease of mind it's just that used to send me crazy now like the last couch that we had this one converts into a bed as well and it also has storage because you guys know i'm always telling y'all we need storage in this house so i make sure I purchase furniture pieces that i can use as storage as well and this one also has storage under needed and also like our last couch the seated cushions cannot be removed only the top cushions can be removed but that's fine with me i just need to make sure i'm able to get in between the little crevices and the top cushions i can take the covers off of them and put those in the machine they're machine washable but unfortunately i can never find sofas or couches here in germany where i can take the seated cushion off and like just zip the cover off and throw it in the machine it's always attached to the body of the couch which is fine i guess I guess less work <laughs> less work and less things to remove but yeah i'm enjoying the couch that's all i want to say i'm rambling on so <laughs> enjoy the video enjoy the video <laughs>
after I was done refreshing the home, the day was still so beautiful that hubby and I decided to go back outside and have dinner. So I whipped up some homemade burger patties and they, be, they were seasoned and delicious, okay? So we grilled our burger patties and we just sat on the patio and enjoyed them as well as the evening. We had us some cocktails and just chilled and chat and it was amazing. That was the only day we had of sun, okay? <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please remember to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not as yet. And I will see y'all in the next video. So until then, I'll be the same.